Before the wildfire, Canada's oil sands capital was hemorrhaging jobs. The unemployment rate was almost as high as 10%. Today, Fort McMurray can't find enough people to work in the restaurants, bars, and hotels. It comes to 11.35, man. One of Fort McMurray's subways was so short-staffed the last few weeks, it closed earlier. There's not a lot of people passing in resumes. Crystal Reed recruited her 18-year-old son today to help. Any meals today, chips, cookies? Like most Albertans, hard work doesn't stress Reed. It fuels her. But there's only so much she can ask her staff to do. They're stretched among six stores and their numbers have dwindled to half. Next door at the subway is the city's Chamber of Commerce office. The staff have been hearing complaints from its members that they need more workers. We're just trying to let people know Fort McMurray is open for business, come back. Um, there are still opportunities up here. The chamber suspects transient service workers left for good during the wildfire. Most found new jobs in Calgary and Edmonton. At Fort McMurray's employment center, here's the job board. Just pick the job you want to apply for. We do have quite a few people coming back and telling us that they were successful in finding employment. It's important to note that those jobs are in hotels, kitchens and bars. We haven't seen, at least to the business community here, an uptick in jobs that are higher paying, such as in the oil sands. And that's the challenge for a city like Fort McMurray. How do you attract people here to, yes, jobs at Subway that might be paying more money than in other places in Canada, but at the same time, where well, workers have to pay more for rent, especially after the wildfire. David Thurton, CBC News, Fort McMurray.